So what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about one of the best solar chargers for anyone who is traveling, hunting, staying in a cabin, anywhere remote where you can't access the electricity. We're gonna talk about that today. So what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert. This is your first time tuning in. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and talk about this solar charger. But first, quick shout out to my business, Geodomes in South Texas. You can check us out down in the description. I'll leave links to everything I'm talking about. We were just featured in the Houston newspaper for the top 13 places to visit in Texas. Super awesome, super blessed, super humbled to be um, in that category within our first year of business. So definitely check it out. Also, quick shout out to Waterburger. Yes, Waterburger. More on that later. Stay tuned. Before we get into it, this unit will be linked down below as well. If anyone wants to check it out, read the specs, or even order one, they'll be down below as well. So when you guys hear solar chargers, some of you guys, maybe some of you older guys may be like, oh my God, solar chargers, they're, they're pretty crappy. Well, I would I usually agree with you. Um, and that's because I've bought solar chargers in the past when they were first coming out years and years ago before they were where they are today. So before then, I wasn't really using solar chargers just because they weren't so effective. They wouldn't really charge the device you're planning to charge. Um, I guess because a lot of the panels were just very cheaply made um, and weren't high quality. So they wouldn't actually uh, have a good conversion of energy um, into your, your electronic device or whatever. So for that reason, I've kind of stayed away from solar chargers. But now recently, now that we're doing more traveling and just kind of staying in more remote places, um, it's kind of hard to access electricity. So one of the things I've obviously turned back to was solar, but solar has actually come a long way from the years I used to first purchase solar panels and they would crack or break or they just weren't charging the device accordingly. Actually, one of the times I would actually have a solar charger and it was actually pulling energy from my cell phone years and years ago. I don't know what the heck the problem was, but still, um, they've come a long way. So that's the reason I'm bringing this back onto the channel um, because I've used this now for about two and a half, maybe three weeks now. Um, and it's actually working really, really well. What I like about this, what we're going to go ahead and talk about it, is that it folds out into four individual solar panels. You have your main one. You have these three that extend out and they just fold back in. They have a little Velcro strap. And you can do it like this. Nice and compact. It is a little heavy, obviously, because it does have a battery inside. But that's super awesome. The reason I like that is because... If I'm hiking in the mountains, I'm hiking somewhere uh, more remotely, I can just attach this to my backpack like so, and my, my uh, solar charger will be charging while I'm hiking. So when I, I'm finished for the day, I can unfold this thing or um, and charge my phone or GoPro, uh, drone, whatever kind of camera equipment I'm with. Um, again, super awesome. Another thing is, if you are, say, hiking remotely, but say you're staying in a place that has electricity staying in town, they do have ports here that you can actually charge this thing with. Show you guys right there. So that port is an Android charger. It's a USB-C charger. So if you have an Android phone, more than likely it's, your charger is going to work with this thing as well. Um, Apple, I not too familiar with Apple, but um, I believe it won't work. I'm not sure. You may have to double check me on, on the Apple stuff. But yeah, there it is again. I'm an Android user, guys, so I, I just stick with Android now. Used to have Apple years ago, kind of off on a tangent, but I used to have a lot of issues with Apple years and years ago. Um, my last straw, I remember I was sitting in a deer blind, and I was trying to get a video of a deer coming to the freaking feeder, my freaking phone froze. I couldn't do anything. I was swiping, turned it off and on, nothing. So that was the day I called it quits with Apple. So FYI, if you're interested. But um, yeah, since then I've been only using Android. But anyways, yeah, so if you have an Android phone, it'll definitely charge it. You can plug it into an outlet. If you're staying in the city, you can charge it up. There are two USB ports. So if you bring your chargers, you can charge your GoPro, your drone, and your phone all at the same time and i'll tell you how right now so the neat thing about this one also is that it's a wireless charging station for your phone you can set your phone on here uh, which i'm recording with my phone right now if not i would show you but you can set your phone on here and it'll charge your phone directly so with mine it actually does work with my case on so i know a lot of you guys may ask do i have to take off my case 
it mine works with my case. I don't know if it's specific to the case I have or if it just works with generally any case, but it does charge my phone without having to remove the case because I'm clumsy sometimes. Sometimes I'm, I'm not paying attention. I'll knock it off and then I break my phone because it doesn't have a case, but it does work with the case. Um, like I said, it is a wireless charger as well. Um, some other little cool features. It has these little uh, holes there so you can add a, uh, like a lanyard or something to your, to your device here if you wanted to, or for your wrist, however you choose to use it. The next thing is it does have a flashlight. The flashlight is pretty bright for considering it's a solar charger. It's not advertised as a flashlight. It's a solar charger. That's how it's advertised as. So for that being said, I think it's a pretty good flashlight considering that's not its main function, you know? Um, yeah, again, it tells you, you know, how well it's charged with these little LED lights up here. The case itself is like a soft, um, I don't believe it's real leather. I don't think it's real leather. I think it's the fake leather, but still feels nice, still looks nice. Um, but yeah, it wraps up really nicely. So now some of the specs. So before we get into the specs on the device itself, again, quick shout out to Whataburger and their PR team. Um, appreciate them sending me this little box. It has a whole bunch of cool coupons and uh, exclusive offers for, I guess, me and people I want to share it with. So thank you, Whataburger. Definitely appreciate it. Whoever's tuning in to Carrasco Ranch from Whataburger, Peace. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's just a cool little thing I wasn't really expecting, but thank you. Appreciate it. So now moving on, the model number is YD-820W. The capacity is 38,800. Um, the input is 5.5 volts. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Type C. So input through the type C is 5 volts input through the solar charger itself is 5.5 volts. The output wirelessly, so you can charge your phone wirelessly, wirelessly is 10 watts. Um, output is five volts through the USB one and two. And the output total is five volts, 3.1 amp, 3.1 amps total. Um, but yeah, guys, like I said, I've been using it for close to three weeks now. So far, so good. With the other chargers they used to have before, back in the day, it, I mean, it freaking sucked. It would take all day to charge the damn thing for one. It wasn't, it didn't have a high conversion rate of energy, sun energy into the battery. So with this thing, it does work pretty quickly because again, you're charging that battery with four different solar panels. So that's what makes it cool and it makes it a little bit faster. Um, I don't like to waste time and th this definitely um, saves on that. Um, but yeah, guys, again, this isn't a sponsored video, but you can definitely check it out. This is just stuff that I've been buying and using myself. So I'm just making a video on it to help you guys out. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be hunting, um, staying in your cabins, hunting season's coming around. Some may not have electricity. Good solution right here. Uh, but yeah, guys, until next time, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.